Did you know that every, and I mean every Shopify store has a built-in public API that you or anyone else can interact with? No? Well, it's true, it's free, and it feels like it should not be that easy, but it is. What's up guys, Dennis here, and in this video, I'll show you how to access structured product data of any Shopify store, interact with it, and even import products into your Google Sheets using a free plugin. So in less than 10 minutes, you will learn how to access a Shopify store's product data right from your browser, extract it into a readable format, and import it into a spreadsheet for later usage. Even if you're not a coder, keep watching, and I I promise you will be amazed at how easy this method is. Now, before we begin, make sure to click those like and subscribe buttons to support the channel and receive more content from me. Now, let's dive in. Okay, let's begin by selecting a random Shopify store. Let's do it by navigating to a directory of Shopify sites and just pick one. Let's search for Shopify store examples. Click on this first link scroll the page down and uh, yeah this one looks okay by the way if you're not sure you can always check whether a site is built using Shopify platform using a tool like builtwith.com and we already know that this particular site is a Shopify site but for the sake of the video let's quickly open builtwith paste the address of this website in the search bar and hit the lookup button. Built with is going to return a bunch of technical information about the website, like which plugins the site uses and which frameworks it's running on, stuff like that. Now, at this particular moment, we don't need any of that. We just want to scroll the page down all the way to the e-commerce section. And yep, the site does in fact run on Shopify. So let's carry on. So we're back on the homepage of the store that we picked previously. And now here's the magic trick of this video. Watch carefully. When on the homepage in the URL bar, where you see the store's website address, simply type slash products.json and hit enter. Just like that, you're presented with a gold mine of structured product data. But as you can see, it looks a bit messy, right? Don't worry, let's quickly install the Chrome JSON Viewer plugin, which will automatically format the data into a readable structure. In case you don't have it yet, I've dropped the link in the video description. Install it for free, of course. And once you do, refresh the page and you'll see the magic unfold. Side note, although this API feature is standard in Shopify and it's October 2023 at the moment, some heavily customized stores might have it turned off. So if you stumble on a store that doesn't offer this accessibility, don't be too surprised. When that happens, you can always build a custom data scraper with Boster affiliated and get all the information that you might need. Now, if the store has a ton of products, you might want to have some control over what you're working with. To control the number of items on the page, you can use the limit parameter in the URL to specify how many products you want to view at a time. So let's try that out. In the URL bar, type question mark, because that's how you add parameters to a URL. Limit equals one. Hit enter. And now you can see that the API returned one product like we asked it to with all the data about the product and some variants. If you want a thousand and the store can return a thousand, feel free to type in a thousand or whatever number you're comfortable working with. You can also use the page parameter to make it easier for you to paginate between the pages. So instead of limit equals one, let's type page equals one. You can go through the information once you're done processing it, you can type page two and it's going to give you another batch of products. And I actually prefer using both the page and the limit parameters together so that I can tell the browser to show me, for example, 10 products per page. Now to use several parameters together to chain those parameters, you can use and and then connect the parameters. Limit equals one. Let's try 10. Limit equals 10, for example. 
and then you can go page one, page two, page three, and per page, per each request, the API will be returning 10 products. And that's not all. Another cool trick that this API allows you to do is this. If you're in a specific product page and you want details just for that product, type .json at the end of the URL and the API will show you instant product data without scraping or coding required. Let's try that out. Let's pick a random product, this one, add .json. How cool is that? You're practically a programmer now. Don't forget to add that to your resume. And if you are a programmer, I don't know what you're doing in this video. Now, one might ask, what's the difference between the products JSON that we explored previously and these individual product data feeds? Well, the individual product data feed returns much more data about a single product, which comes in very handy if you're doing an in-depth research of the inventory. By the way, my next video is going to be related to Shopify and their product pages, so subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. Okay, congrats, you now know what to do to dig into a bunch of JSON data, but how can you actually work with it and make it useful? Let's take it a step further. Let's say you want this data in your Google Sheets. So let's quickly create a fresh spreadsheet. And now you'll need to install the API connector plugin so that your spreadsheet will be able to talk to this Shopify site via their API. So to install this plugin, let's click on the extensions tab, add-ons and get add-ons. Let's look for API connector, click on that and click on the install button. Of course, I already have this plugin installed, so I'm just going to click and close this window. Now let's open the plugin that we just installed. Again, click on the extensions, API connector, open, give it a little time. There you have it, the plugin open on the right hand side of your window. And now let's create a request that the plugin will make to the Shopify stores API, retrieve the data and paste it into your spreadsheet. Let's click on the create request. We need to do only a few things. So let's paste the request URL, which is going to be the products.json URL that I showed you previously. Let's set the parameters page equals one and limit equals 10, which will ask the API to serve us 10 products as the first batch. And the only other thing we need to do is set the destination sheet to where the plugin will paste the data. So let's set it to current, click on the set current button. And after that, we're done. Let's click on the run. That rhymed. Did you see that? Your spreadsheet is now populated with the product information. You have your product descriptions, product SKUs, sizes, prices, whatever you need. And if you're thinking, Dennis, this is so cool. I just gave you a like and subscribe for all of your future videos. What if I want to append more products from the site into this table without deleting everything? And I'm gonna tell you, well, that can be easily done. We just have to change a few things. First, let's set the page to two. So the API will serve us the second page with another 10 products from the website. And next, we need to change the output options of the plugin. Let's click on the output options button and instead of override, let's select append so that the plugin will append the data rather than overriding it. Click on the run and there you have it. We now have a total of 20 products in our spreadsheet with all of their information. With API Connector, you can also extract information on schedule, which would make it easy to track price and catalog changes. But for that, they require a payment. And since I'm on a free version, this is not something I'm going to show in the video because I'm not affiliated with the plugin in any way. But you're welcome to explore the possibilities yourself or perhaps Perhaps if you can find a completely free plugin that does scheduling, do make sure to drop its name into the comment section below for other users to download. And there you have it, folks. In just a few minutes, you've learned how to access, view, and import Shopify product data without breaking a sweat, really. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment below. If you want more automation hacks, programming related content and stuff like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Dennis signing off.